Hey folks, we're going to be building the Armitan CF258 utilizing everything that Chris has included in our DIY kit. The only thing that we're going to need uh, in exception to what Chris has already provided would be your basic tools, your soldering iron, um, obviously you're going to need your battery and your receiver and your transmitter. Um, in this case we're going to be using a Tyrannus and I'm going to be showing you how to program the FreeSky receiver to the Tyrannus and the KK2 board. We're going to be starting with the motors. Um, generally, that's the easiest place to start in your build. And I'm going to be um, attaching the ESCs to the arms before actually completing the frame. So if you're going to be building yours um, the conventional way, which would be just zip tying the ESCs to the arms, feel free to skip ahead to the uh, rest of the frame build, um, but in our case, we're actually going to be attaching the ESCs to the arms prior to building the frame. So let's get started unboxing the motors and let's get going with this build. Inside your motor package, you will receive the motor, the prop adapter, two sets of screws, and a motor mounting plate. This motor mounting plate will not be used in our application, nor will the black screws. These will not be needed. The silver screws will be used to mount the motor prop adapter onto the top of the motor. When installing your motor to your arms, pay close attention to where your wires will be routed. You never want to have your wires routed off of the end of the arm because in the event of a crash, you're going to crush your wires. Always have your wires routed towards the front of the arm. Always be sure to use some form of Loctite on the threads of the screws when you install your motors. All it takes is just a drop. Clean off any excess Loctite that has squeezed out. You should now have all four motors mounted to all four of your arms. Note that I have all of the wires coming from the motors pointing to the inside. At this point, we're actually ready to start installing the ESCs. I'm going to show you how I prefer to install the ESCs. You do not have to do it this way. You can install the ESCs onto the arms after the remainder of the frame is built using the zip ties that Chris has provided in the kit to fasten the ESC to the arm. The method that I'm going to be showing you will be using the large heat shrink to cover both the ESC and the arm at the same time. In order to do this, what we're going to want to do is remove the clear heat shrink that's already installed onto the ESC.
with the clear heat shrink removed. We're now going to remove these three motor wires because they will not be used. At this point, I have all of the heat shrink removed from the ESCs and all of the motor wires desoldered. If you follow my build, I'm going to actually be removing these bullet connectors and just soldering the wires directly to the ESCs. When removing the bullet connectors, you just simply need to cut right behind the connector so that we're not removing any length of wire. We're now gonna strip the wire about an eighth of an inch and tin the wire. With our wires tinned, we're now ready to connect to our ESC. Note that two motors will have the wires coming out perfectly straight and two motors will have the wires crisscrossed. The two motors where the wires are coming out straight will be in counterclockwise direction. The two motors where the wires will be crisscrossed will turn in uh, clockwise direction. The top right motor and the bottom left motor will be turning counterclockwise. The bottom right and top left motor will be turning in clockwise direction. For our top right, or bottom left motors turning in the counterclockwise direction, you should have something that looks like this. At this point, we can slide a piece of the heat shrink tubing that Chris has provided in our kit over top of the ESC. Covering the motor connections and also covering this uh, capacitor on the end there because we don't want it to get damaged. After it's shrunk, it should look like this. But this is where my build is going to differ slightly from some others. Uh, you could simply use the provided zip tie that Chris has included and zip tie this ESC straight to the arm. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to be moving it to the bottom of the arm and I'm actually going to take a piece of larger heat shrink and I'm going to slide it over top of the arm and the ESC and I'm going to shrink it to the arm. So I'm going to have two layers of heat shrink protection for the ESC and it's just going to provide a nice clean build. And when you get done, you should have something like this. At this point, we have all of our motors installed to our arms, all of our ESC soldered to our motors, and the ESC secured to the arms with heat shrink tubing. You may be wondering why I have two stickers on two arms. That's just to tell me during the build, since all of our wiring is now covered by heat shrink tubing, which two motors will be spinning in the counterclockwise direction. 